Hi everyone, today we're gonna to be doing the Chinese finger trap suture. And this is a suture that you're gonna to use to secure a tube into a hollow organ. Um, so this tube, as we have demonstrated, is in this patient's esophagus. So this is an esophagostomy tube. Um, you can also use this suture to secure a chest tube as well. So once you have your tube in place, then you're gonna take your suture. So I already have my suture loaded into my needle holders. And what you're gonna do is on the caudal end of the incision or the ostomy site, you are going to place a simple interrupted suture. Alternatively, if you want to um, create a purse string, you can do this at this time as well. And you can take two or three more bites around the ostomy site and that'll create a, a purse string. So it would kind of depend on if that site um, needs to be closed a little bit more, um, then certainly you can do that. Um, but for this size, I'm gonna go ahead and just do a simple interrupted. Okay, so two throws and I'm finished with the, with the knot there. Okay, so I can put down my instruments and now we're gonna tie by hand. Um, you're gonna take each tag in each hand and what you're gonna do is you're going to pass behind the tube Pass both of them behind the tube. And then in the front, this is where you're gonna do your square knot. So a square knot is two throws. And you wanna tighten it enough so that way the tube kind of puckers a little bit, but not to where you're gonna occlude it. So two throws make a square knot. Okay, let's do that again. So we're gonna pass it behind the tube and we're gonna do a square knot. There's one throw, make sure it's tight. And we're gonna do a second, second one, there we go. Okay, so there's two. So we're gonna do this another one or two times, crisscross in the back. Square knot, there's one throw, do a second throw. Okay, let's do one more for good measure. Crisscross in the back, and then square knot. Okay, make sure it's secure. There we go. And now we're done, we can cut our tags. And now this is not gonna pull out if um, the patient pulls on it. Um, it's, not, it's gonna make it harder for it to come out. Um, you can also put a dot of surgical glue um, between the glue and the tube to kind of just be extra security and to make sure it's not gonna go anywhere. Um, and then at this point, you can go ahead and do any um, bandaging um, that you wanna do to secure that and protect, uh, protect the tube. And that's your Chinese finger trap suture. Thanks for watching.